Hey, y'all, some people. I'm going to see who's going to come online. Um, kind of heard something that I wanted to share. You know how you're thinking? You're like, that would be awesome to share with people. That's what I love about live videos. So, um, see if anyone's going to log on. If not, you'll just see what I saw or what I said. Um, mentoring, 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 mentoring. That's what I do through Roses. And some people are under the impression that mentoring has to be under a nonprofit. Um, when I first started mentoring, um, I went to my, well, at least when I, I really recognized mentoring. Matter of fact, mentoring goes back to when I was in college. Um, for those who don't know, I have a mentoring group at Longleaf Middle School um, called Roses. And we mentor girls starting in seventh grade. And those girls that they choose can stay with us until they graduate from high school. Mentoring for me started my sophomore year, maybe into my junior year of college at Winthrop University. And with mentoring, what we used to do is with the Association of Evanites, we would travel um, down the street to the Boys and Girls Club in Rock Hill, and we would play with those kids. That's a form of mentoring. Um, you don't have to start an organization to mentor. I remember when I became a teacher, and I'll never forget, um, her name is Asia, we're still in contact now. One of my first group of students came to me and she shared some very personal things with me and I felt a connection with her immediately that I felt like I wanna work with her one-on-one. -on -one. Not just as a teacher, I wanna be there for her. So I went to my principal and I said, I would like to take these young ladies under my wings. I would like to take them out. Um, I would like to, we can go shopping, we can go to museums, we can hang out. Um, but I just want to impart in them outside of school. My principal told me, honestly, I don't believe you should do it. Because kids say things, kids do things, and as a result, you can have your career ruined. I realized, you know what, this is what I want to do for me. So it was her and it may be two or three individuals that I made it a point that we went out, I took them out, they came to my house. Um, I would do believe if you're a person of prayer, pray about that. You just can't bring everyone into your house. And you also can't always pick people up because sometimes parents get offended. You have to be mindful and be very intentional. Um, and from there, Roses, the actual girl club, was birthed um, at Coldwood Middle School. Um, then I eventually I moved. And then because I wasn't sure, I was new to Columbia, I was new to Blackfoot Middle School, I didn't know how I wanted to do it. So I had two young ladies, um, Brittany and Rakia. And I stayed with them after school. I tutored them. Um, I would take them out to eat. I would spend time with them. Um, we would go shopping. I poured into them. And that was my form of mentoring. The point I'm trying to make is sometimes mentoring is not necessarily on a platform. It could be you just take interest in someone you connect with and you realize, you know, I believe I can help them grow. I can help them go to another level. They don't have to be teenagers. They can be little kids. They could be adults, but again, you feel a connection to help them grow and they are receptive to you. Um, I've never been in a situation where I've chose to mentor people and they've given me resistance. They wanted to be there. That's the biggest thing. Um, I know eventually I want to take mentoring with roses to another level. Uh, we're still working on trying to be a full-fledged nonprofit. At the same time, I know this year, one of my focuses is to make sure that we're truly a mentoring group. It's not just me pouring into them, but they're paired off with adult mentors. But I just, I just felt the need to say that because um, today at our Gear Up Lead Conference at Lonely Middle School, we talked about leaders. And she talked about some of the kids felt like, well, I don't put myself out there. Sometimes you don't have to put yourself out there. 
And I just want to encourage someone who wants to mentor. You don't have to have a nonprofit to mentor. You don't have to have an organization to mentor. You just may go to a parent you see at church or a parent who you work with their kids. So you've seen their kids and you're like, I feel a connection there. And it's all right if I pick up your, your son or daughter. I definitely advise male with male and female with female. Because who can teach a male better be a male than a male? Same thing for a female. But don't think you have to be on this large platform to mentor. If you feel a connection and you feel a need to meet with someone and to help someone, just do it. 